Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Uh, I'm out here today. Finally brought the exotic plants outside. So uh, we've been having temps now that are finally in the mid, you know, at least lower, but closer to the mid-teens Celsius um, overnight. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to do it until I was well over 10 degrees um, uh, for overnight temps. And now we're finally well past that. So it's been in the mid-teens. Uh, even at night time at the coldest part. So we finally brought these out. I haven't brought everything outside yet So actually all the star fruit is still inside. So there's actually more stuff inside This was actually quite the workout to come down the uh, stairs through the basement out here, but I uh, finally got everything out uh, It's getting to be the end of the day here. So the lighting might not be the best although I think it looks pretty good So hopefully you guys can see everything um, Take you through a quick tour really quick show you what's going on um, you can see uh, a lot of different kinds of things here. These little guys are probably the nicest um, flying dragon orange uh, plants that I got. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll link stuff at the, um, in the description for all of these different things. Most of these I planted from seed uh, or got them from people uh, planted from seed. So um, yeah, so this is a flying dragon orange. You can already see some pretty vicious spikes coming out here. This one, all of these in here. Uh, this is a date palm, which I had um, completely forgotten about in that pot, and lo and behold it grew out. So I'll have to kind of get those planted out. Got some more flying dragon orange here. Um, this one is flying dragon orange as well. And then uh, this is flying dragon orange, and there's a couple more little guys like this kind of spread out somewhere. So there's a, there's a few of those. Um, this is a... Uh, what is this? This is a um, mandarin. And then these are date palms as well. One of them, uh, uh, actually two of these are uh, medulla dates. The other one is some other kind, some cheaper kind, some Persian variety that I don't know the name of. Um, these are my oldest uh, citrus, these three guys in the back here, this one, this one, and this one. And you'll remember that in the winter, I kind of had an episode where they started just dropping their leaves like crazy. So this one was the worst affected. And you can see it's really kind of, um, you know, died back here. I haven't cut it back. I probably will do that um, maybe tomorrow. I'm probably gonna cut it back to at least here until I start seeing some healthy uh, tissue. And hopefully it'll re kind of shoot. Um, down here, it looks like it's still potentially even dried out. So it might have to get cut back all the way to here, which is a bit of a shame because it had a really nice shape going. But this half is definitely still alive and kicking and doing well. And I'm sure it'll re start growing that way it's and you know rebalance itself at some point i might have to cut some of these back to you know not have it be weighted so much on one side um this plant seems to be uh you know have weathered the winter pretty well no you know severe damage on it i've just washed them down now uh they haven't been outside in a long time so the leaves are really dusty i think the plants are gonna be really happy now that they're out um this guy's looking good it definitely lost some leaves got some dead branches here but uh, still looking really good. Got some nice healthy um, shoots at the top. So that's pretty cool. Avocados um, seem to have weathered fairly well, not all of them equally. So this one is still alive. You can see some new growth coming here, but uh, definitely some you know, leaves have dropped as you can see there. And uh, a lot of the stuff has fallen off here. So this one's not so good. This one's okay. Uh, got some decent you know, leaves, um, decent health. This one is looking great, has really nice big leaves. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this around so that it faces the other way, get some sun, because a lot of them have started growing lopsided. And uh, yeah, because just the way they were facing the windows. Um, these are the uh, pomegranate trees. These have been outside for quite some time. I think these kind of had a bit of a shock because I kind of moved them in um, doors after they started kind of le uh, losing their leaves outside in the fall. And then I think they kind of got messed up by being moved indoors um, where they kind of maybe thought like, oh, maybe it's not fall time. And then when I actually brought them out this uh, spring, I kind of brought them out early and it was still really cold. So then I think they kind of went dormant again and they lost most of whatever leaves had <laughs> regrown out. So I think they were like really confused. Uh, hopefully they'll kind of come around. I might just snip them back a little bit. They're not dried out. They're, they're looking okay. I think they're going to start putting out some leaves. Uh, hopefully soon. Um, this is the carob tree that my wife planted, so that's really cool. Um, same kind of thing. I think it got a little bit of a shock when it got moved out here. This is new growth here, so it's uh, it's starting to come too, I think. Um, 
and some of the leaves here are okay as well. So that's pretty good, I would say. These are three little mandarins that I just kind of uh, put in next to a chili uh, pepper that didn't make it over the winter, um, and they just uh, came out nice. That is a kumquat, I believe. We've got a bunch of kumquats uh, kind of growing. The oldest one is this guy, and he's doing pretty nice. Got some spikes coming out. This was the first uh, time it actually started really growing well, was over the winter. Um, last year it seemed to have just been kind of stunted and about this big, like the, the whole year, and then it grew from about here to here uh, over the winter. Um, that is another kumquat. I've got a couple of other little kumquats here and there. Uh, I think that one is a kumquat, if I remember right. Um, so yeah, those are doing okay. The lychee, I was actually quite surprised. They started growing really nicely um, this past winter. So I think this was the original one I got from my brother, which he grew from seed. And that one came around really nicely, so that one's doing great now. Um, don't know if anybody remembers it, but it was at one point like just barely alive, and now it's doing pretty good. Um, these other ones I planted from seed, so this is doing great. This one's really nice, got a lot of new growth. These are all new leaves, the, the reddish colored ones. You can see it's got a pretty good stem. And uh, one of them is actually amazing. Uh, this one, uh, also grown from seed, lots of new growth, huge leaves. This one seems to be growing like twice as fast as any of the other ones. Um, pretty good sized stem already. So this is only about a year old. And uh, with lychee, if anybody um, uh, hasn't seen some of my previous videos, uh, it takes a long time to grow them from seed, so most times people do um, uh, like um, uh, cuttings and then they root those. But uh, yeah, since I don't have anybody that I know that has them, I just decided to grow them from seed. It's a super long experiment. I think base uh, like time estimates for growing from seed is like a minimum of 10 to 15 years before it'll produce fruit. So uh, yeah, I guess like year one or two down on some of these, and who knows, uh, we'll see what's going on. Um, this is a lemon tree. This one had been doing really poorly for a long time, barely surviving, and then this year it has uh, really kind of come into its own this winter. So you can see it's done really well. All of this is new growth basically from here up. This all grew out this winter, and uh, I'm gonna have it face this way now because it was leaning towards the window and uh, kind of growing crooked. I really have to repot it. You can see it's in a very small pot. It's starting to really get some nice uh, you know, bark down here. It's starting to really look like a tree now at this point and lots of new growth. It's still coming up. I might have to like trim the top at some point to encourage some growth to the side and uh, branching out. So uh, yeah, that's looking great. Um, I mean, that's, that's the bulk of it. Still have a little pineapple plant here. I've got a bigger one inside that I haven't brought out yet. I just remembered that I need to bring that one out still. And uh, I'm actually re um, trying to grow a new one because uh, I killed off most of these with uh, putting them out into the sun too early last uh, summer. And that's actually the second year that I've done that. So they're just basically struggling to survive. Um, hopefully the new one that I do will be better. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that'll be the end for today and uh, hope to see you guys in the new video coming up soon and uh, thanks everybody for your support keep uh, subscribing and um, we're past the 800 mark I'm super excited about that thank you to everyone who's subscribed and signed up really appreciate it and thanks everybody for your comments um, it's been hard lately uh, to reply to everybody in time but I do my best so please bear with me and uh, don't take any offense if I don't reply to your comment right away I will eventually and I do read everything so I uh, really appreciate everybody so thank you and see you next time bye